This is George from iTech Legion. Going back a couple years ago when we first saw the EVGA NEX 1500 power supply, you know, um, a lot of people thought, and myself included, that maybe they were being a little overly ambitious, that the power supply itself might have been a little busy, a little too featurey. Um, and, you know, that might have been the case. But over the last couple of years, EVGA has really taken a step back, reevaluated the power supplies that they're uh, putting out, and they've really tweaked and um, really molded into shape an incredible line of power supplies. Now, their newest lines, the P2 and G2 series, are probably the best power supplies I've seen come to market at the price points they're at. Um, they're an incredible buy for the money, but not only that, they're outstanding performers that will compete with absolutely anything on the market. Uh, today, we're going to get our first look at the P2 1200, which is a 1200-watt 80-plus plat uh, platinum-rated power supply, fully modular with a single 12-volt rail. Now, getting a look at the Supernova 1200P2, uh, like I say, they, EVGA really has trimmed down the features and the busyness of it, but, and they've gotten more focused on uh, exactly what it needs, but this is still a very feature-oriented power supply. But not only that, like I say, the power delivery on it is absolutely outstanding, and the feature set is absolutely phenomenal. So first, let's take a quick look at the box. Um, you know, the 1200P2, typical EVGA box, you know, like you see, you know, all black with just the logo in the front, 1200 watt, 80 plus platinum certified power supply. Going around the back, you get a list of features here. Fully modular design, as we said, stable power with uh, very low electrical ripple and noise. Like I say, very solid power delivery. Provides up to 99.9 .9 amps, 1098.8 watts on the 12 volt rail. I mean, there's just about nothing you can't power with this power supply. 100% solid Japanese capacitors, rated up to 50 degrees centigrade, of course. Complete protection, OCP, OVP, UVP, OPP, and SCP. So you're fully protected. Uh, again, short circuits, over voltage, under voltage, etc. You know, you like I say, you've got protection for the power supply itself and for your uh, components, which is always important. Provides up to 1,200 watts at 50 degrees centigrade. That's a big thing right there. Uh, a lot of times you'll see these power ratings that um, are good up to 30 degrees centigrade. They're rating it here at full temperature. So good thing to know right there. 80 plus platinum certified for a super high efficiency. An ultra quiet two ball bearing fan, 140 millimeters. New eco intelligent thermal uh, control feature. And if you get a look at that, what that basically says is with the eco on, it's going to leave the fan off until it hits about 45 degrees inside of the power supply at which point the fan will turn on and slowly ramp up. And as it comes back down, when it gets back down to about 40 degrees, it'll turn back off. So when you're idling or just doing, you know, mundane, you know, regular day-to-day -day tasks, you can have no fan noise whatsoever. When you need uh, the fan, it's going to come on. Or, of course, you can turn the eco off and just have the standard, you know, ramped uh, fan, that which will be slower at idle. And as the heat builds up, will spin faster. Moving on from there, SLI crossfire ready, obviously. Active power uh, factor correction with PF value of 0 0.99. So um, what you're going to get, whatever you've got going in, it's going to correct it. So you're not going to be losing wattage coming out because of what you've got going in, as long as you're within, you know, standard regulation. Uh, moving on from there, tight voltage regulation of 2%. DC to DC con uh, converter design, uh, that's for the minor rails, so you get more efficiency on the minor rails and better regulation. Outstanding 10-year warranty and compliance with ERP Lot 6. So you've got a really, like I say, a lot going on here. Really, really nice design. Uh, getting a look, like we say, um, 1198 or 98.8 watts on the 12-volt rail, 100 watts combined on the minor rails. Now let's take a look at the... Uh, Supernova 1200P2 itself. Very nice looking power supply. Keeps uh, with the design we're seeing in the newer EVGA units with the circular built-in fan um, grill. So it's not a separate grill. It is actually part of the case itself. So it's got a nice molded look. Rounded corners, EVGA pressed right into it with 1200. On the sides, you've got the uh, 1200P2 sticker with the... Um, Wattages uh, listed right on the side with the 80 plus platinum, and that appears on both sides as you see. On the back, straight black, 
with just the 1200p uh, label with your serial number. And moving over to the rear of the power, or the front of the power supply, I should say, or whichever you'd like to call this, what's gonna be facing inside the case, you've got all of your modular connections right here. As you can see, you've got quite a bit, quite a few modular connections. As it is a 1200 watt power supply, it's gonna be able to power quite a bit. And on the back, all open air, as you see, for better airflow. Uh, very, very nice there. Your eco on off switch is right on the back next to the plug in with the on switch so really nice uh, looking power supply also very very well made very heavy good solid case on the power supply itself and looking in you can see that you've got some really really nice heat sinks going on on the inside uh, of the power supply so you're going to get some good passive cooling as well allowing the fan to spin a little bit slower so you're going to get a little bit quieter performance heading inside of the box take a look at the accessories got your manual Shared manual, the uh, 1000 watt and the 1200 watt, obviously. Um, same power supply, very basically different wattages. Go through, simple manual. I mean, obviously, there's not a whole lot going on, you know, as far as a power supply that's going to need an instruction manual. You've got storage case for the power supply itself. And very nice cable case, Velcro front, for storing your extra cables. Wire ties with Velcro, not simple zip ties. You've got some nice looking uh, cable ties right there. Very, very heavy duty power cord. Uh, I'm gonna say it's 14 gauge, judging by the feel of it. But like I say, nice heavy duty power cord. And moving on, it's actually Power supply tester inside. If you've never used one of these, this actually allows you to power up the power supply without the motherboard or a turn on switch. So that's great if you're just testing the power supply. Also fantastic for uh, water cooling if you're gonna be filling your loop, doing some bleeding. And moving on to the cables, you know, EVGA does a beautiful job with their cables. They really do. I mean, they're black end to end, as you can see. Sleeving goes almost to the end and then goes into black individual wires. I mean, really beautifully done. And that goes for every cable in the kit. Now you've got a total of six PCI Express six plus twos, as well as two six pins. So great opportunity for Crossfire SLI. Obviously with a 1200 watt supply, you're gonna want that. Two CPU cables and the CPU cables, um, for 750 millimeters, so you've got plenty of length there. Uh, all the cables are a very good length. And of course, you've got, you know, some nice design to the cables themselves as far as the layouts. Three SATAs, um, and really just a great looking kit, but you know, what I really can't get over is, you know, they're fantastic looking cables, like I say. Just black, end to end, as you see. So, now we've got to look at the accessories and the power supply itself. So let's throw it in the case and put some, draw some power from it and see exactly how it performs. Taking a look at the performance here, the power delivery from the EVGA P, uh, 1200 P2 is really nothing short of outstanding. I mean, the regulation is absolutely phenomenal. It's just a flat line, really, for 30 minutes across the board, you know, running it under some uh, pretty good duress. Uh, that goes for the 12 volt rail, as well as the minor rails. So, you know, really fantastic across the board. Uh, as far as noise, uh, definitely wasn't noisy, obviously, with the uh, eco on, you know, we did uh, get, you know, at idle and, you know, uh, minimal tasking, you know, it was dead silent. Then, you know, the fan would come up a bit, but, you know, never really obtrusive outside. Tiny bit of ball bearing noise in the ball bearing fans, but nothing, you know, uh, out of the ordinary. Um, you know, with the eco off, which, you know, personally I prefer, you know, dead, si you know, dead silent at idle and, uh, you know, ramped up the same way and, you know, was never, like I say, uh, any type of annoyance or um, a nuisance whatsoever. So, you know, you had some pretty good uh, noise levels there as well. But really, it's just that power delivery that's absolutely outstanding from the uh, 1200 P2. You know, looking at it, 1200 watts is really a lot of power and significantly more than most of us will ever need. But for people who need it, I mean, the EVGA 1200 P2, um, 
is really, I mean, just top of class. And it actually comes in at a very, very reasonable price. At, you know, present at launch time, you're looking at a $269 retail price. You probably find it for a little bit less out there. I mean, that's an absolutely phenomenal buy, you know, for that type of power delivery with, you know, these type of features. Now, obviously, the uh, Supernova 1200P2 is taking home a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award. I mean, like I say, Fabulous power delivery, so flexible, just so many connections. The cables themselves are absolutely phenomenal. You know, really nice accessory set. You know, there's just no lacking feature on the twelve on the twelve hundred P two. I mean, you know, you could cite that it's a ball bearing fan. You know, like I say, it makes a little of that ball bearing uh, bearing noise. You know, at times, but you really, I mean. You literally have to have your ear against the floor next to your computer to hear it. So really, that's not even a concern. The eco feature, for those who like that, you know, is a very nice feature. You know, great power regulation, like I say, and very, very efficient, you know, platinum rated. So there's nothing not to like about the uh, Supernova 1200P2. Once again, High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award and our highest recommendation in a 1200 watt power supply.